my clothes for two weeks in this bag. I'll show you where we're going. I'll tell you where we're going. It's gonna be good. I'm going on a road trip and I'm bringing you along and we are gonna be traveling in a fried out combi on hippie trail, head full of zombies, maybe? We are going to the land down under and I'm gonna go out for two weeks to work with their goalies and coaches and I'm gonna do the carry on thing. When possible, I do carry on. It's early fall, late summer, down under. So I think we're gonna make it fly. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I pack and see, see if we can stuff it all into my uh, backpack. I'll show you exactly what the backpack I use to travel in a second. But let's give you a rundown of what all I've got, skivvies and everything. I am traveling with, so these are short sleeve shirts and I will be coaching and running workshops and things like that. So I've got to bring a little bit of the brand rep. So this is like my one kind of nice golf shirt. <laughs> representing and then I have a merino wool black t-shirt I'll be traveling in a merino wool gray I'll wear that on the airplane I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna wear on the airplane in a second but those are the only two kind of plain t-shirts I'm taking then I'm taking two goalie training pro t-shirts these are nice and light so I can wash them out in the sink I'm huge at washing things in the sink if maybe I'll do another video and show you how I do that but yeah and they look nice or fine so I'll do my workouts in those and I'll use those when I'm coaching sessions and then I also threw in just a lululemon but uh goalie training pro kind of understated shirt so all things that I can easily wash in the sink and hang to dry and then uh, it's going to be hot so the high is during the day going to be about 28 ish the lows are going to be around the 21 degree mark so I've got two tank tops for when I'm out running. Uh, and then I just brought one graphic tee and I picked uh, this. Does anyone know what band this is from? I'll send you a prize if you can tell me what band this t-shirt is from. But so I just got a white one because everything else is dark. I, I'm not very good at knowing what colors go together. So I just tend to wear like black everything, everything. But and then tank tops and one of these I will sleep in will be my sleep shirt. Then for bottoms, I have a pair of workout shorts. These are Lululemon, um, they're dudes workout shorts I don't girls workout shorts were designed by men who were like it would be awesome if the girls bums hang out the bottom of their shorts a little I don't like my bum I want to just be able to move and not be pulling my pants down so uh these are just lululem they have they, they tick all the boxes zipper pockets drawstring they're lovely that's what I'll wear for my workouts and again easy to wash out then these are mountain equipment co-op um just ladies shorts I wear these when I coach I love them uh, I can work out in them too if I need to. These are another pair of dark colored shorts. These are outdoor research, super light. I love that the waistband has like kind of a terry cloth kind of thing. It's, or not terry cloth, it's like a, like a light fleece. So it doesn't like chafe you around the waist if you're sweating your head off. And then I am bringing one pair of, of uh, these are merino wool tights. These are the ones from Costco, they're Paradox. Because I don't know, you know, I wouldn't mind if like, I'm gonna be coaching stuff while ice sessions are going on, but if I do end up out on the ice just for like a few minutes or half an hour, just that'll be, that'll do the trick. Bring in my bather, a little two piece, because hopefully I'll be working and I'll still be like doing my, this job. <laughs> but hopefully I'll maybe find myself at a beach or even just at the hotel pool or something like that, because it's summer. And it's March here and March is like bleh. So for socks, I've got uh, two pairs of no-show socks and one pair of short socks. And then I'm wearing a pair of short socks on the plane. For underpants, uh, these will be my sleeping shorts, just a little pair of boxer shorts. And then I'm taking um, two pairs of merino wool. I wear boy shorts all the time because when I travel, because then if I'm coaching, again, I'm all covered up. I don't like putting on a show for everybody or be like, I need to pull my shorts. So we just need to cover up <laughs> so i have two pair of merino wool ones and then these are my go-to hanes hanes uh boy shorts and they're designed for girls but they call them boy shorts just so you know easy to rinse and i will actually be wearing underpants on the plane as well yes one brassiere that will be a workout brassiere and then on the plane i'll be wearing a brassiere that will be my let's call it everyday brassiere. then for long sleeves i have just a black prana pretty lightweight waffle knit that, that actually looks looks pretty nice i might wear that on the plane even too to be determined and then again so i can wrap the brand a little very lightweight bully training pro hoodie an umbrella because it looks like it's i think it's going to be a little bit like summer here you might just get a downpour you know a couple times a day this is a little decathlon rain jacket that's just like a normal waist jacket and it is the bomb so it packs down this leg but it is i've been caught in some doozy downpours and it is waterproof. So I'm leaving my Gore-Tex 
cohere because I'm not gonna be hiking or anything like that. And this I'm sure will do the job. I'm taking a buff, I'm taking a hairband and I'm taking a bandana. And I'm taking a hat. Usually I, when I travel, I'll just travel in a plain black, um, or like not in it, but I'll take with me a plain black baseball hat, but I brought the goalie training pro one for this trip. Footwear, I am taking my uh, barefoot shoes. These are ones I got off Instagram. They're called Sunguero, and I actually really like them. Uh, so these have been terrific. And some flip-flops. And on the plane, I will wear the shoes I'm gonna run in. I'll either take my last Sportivas or my Solomons because they're good for both walking around and for running. Let's actually, on that note, let's go over what I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. Because you, you have to wear clothes on the plane these days. So it is going to be summer when I'm in Australia, but it is not gonna be summer when I am in Canada. Uh, so I am going to take uh, and probably wear on the plane. This is just a light Patagonia vest. And again, if I'm out on the ice by chance, just something to add a little extra layer of warmth. I'm gonna throw these shorts. These are MEC ones again, but they're just a different color. This, I'm taking like three black pairs of shorts and one green pair of shorts. I'm gonna throw these in my carry-on so that when I get there, if it's 28 degrees, I hate them when my legs are hot. <laughs> so when it's 28 degrees, I can just, throw my pants off and throw those shorts on. I think I'm gonna wear this Solomon, like sort of micro fleece, full zip jacket. I took this to Scotland when we hiked the West Highland Way. It was terrific. Plus it like does add a little teeny pop of color. My other option was to take my Lululemon full zip hoodie, but again, then it's like, it's a lot of gray. So I might just go live on the wild side and wear that little pop of color from the Solomon. I will wear, I never ever travel without some sort of scarf. It just, you know what, it's swaddled. I like being swaddled and it soothes me. So I'll take this little light scarf because it's easy to wear around. This is the uh, gray Merino wool shirt. These are the Hanes boy shorts, short socks, my everyday brassiere. Under Armour, this is for the girls, boys, you can dink off to whatever you want. Uh, Under Armour, they make the best sports bras because what are they called? I don't know what they're called, but the ones that have like this kind of pattern inside, I don't know if you can see it. They don't have the foamy inserts. Uh, they fit really, really nice. They keep everything where it should be. My bo your boob, I don't have the hugest boobs, but your boobs aren't bouncing around. At least my boobs aren't bouncing around, which is key, kind of the purpose of a sports bra. But it doesn't have those little foamy <laughs> inserts that come out in the wash every time and they flip around and they're just, again, that was designed by men. Then I'm gonna wear pants on the plane. These are Mountain Equipment Co-op. They're kind of like, almost like a cottony quick dry material. And yeah, they got nice deep pockets, some side pockets, stuff like that. So I can put my passport and things like that in there. And these are great pants too, because I don't think it's gonna be an issue on this trip. But when I went to Sweden, I brought these along and I brought like a couple pairs of long johns, which saved my life because it was freezing. But um, so I went cross country skiing one day and obviously I'm not gonna haul over all my cross country ski outfits, um, but I cross country ski in these and it was perfect. So I can run in these, hike in these, whatever. But uh, there's my pair of pants to wear on the plane. So that's, that's basically it for all the clothes. The bag that I'm gonna put all this stuff in is this one, it's the Osprey, I never remember, like Farpoint or something. Fairview, it's the Osprey Fairview 40 is what it's called. Um, it has, this is the outside pocket. It has a laptop sleeve in there. Um, it has a pocket here where I could put like my passport and things like that that'd be easy to get access to. And then the whole thing opens up just like that so I can stuff everything in there um, and have access to a 40 liters. It does fit in the overhead really easily, especially for a flight like this. Sometimes if I fly between London and Toronto, you know, and you get those teeny little planes, then sometimes it's a little like, uh oh, but pretty much even in a pinch, I can get it under the seat in front of me enough. I've never been screwed <laughs> by this bag, but I'm flying Toronto to Vancouver. That'll be a big plane. And I'm flying Vancouver to Sydney. That'll be a big plane. And I like, I got Aeroplan. I book almost all my flights Air Canada. So I have, I'm um, not high status for the aeroplan, but I have some status. So I'm, I'm almost always boarding in either, usually group two, sometimes group one. So I have lots of overhead bin space. Now, how will I get all of this 
to fit in there? And the answer is compression, baby. <laughs> so this is a compression stuff sack. So I will jam all these clothes into this stuff sack and then put this over top and cinch it down so it'll, it'll end up to be a ball about that big of, with all my clothes. Um, it'll weigh 75 pounds, no, <laughs> but it'll be a dense little ball of clothes. So let's, let me show you exactly what I mean. That is how I pack two weeks of clothes. Carry on. So this is all my clothes. It doesn't have like my rain jacket, my baseball hat, stuff like that, and my, and my umbrella. But every, every other piece of clothes, clothing, other than what I'm wearing on the plane, is in here. And before you go and drop a comment, like, oh yeah, clothes are gonna be so wrinkled. It's gonna be a wrinkly nest. <laughs> gonna be a poor representative of your Commonwealth sisters in Canada. Um, I think we do own an iron. I'd be hard pressed to tell you where in this house it's located. I'm not really a worried about wrinkled clothes kind of gal. So um, plus almost everything is like uh, merino wool, synthetic, something like that. So it's not, it's not actually gonna wrinkle. So, so we'll be good. Oh, I'll be a disheveled mess. I don't know that it'll be wrinkly. So if you kind of enjoyed this little behind the scenes peek, maybe I will bring you along on the trip. Maybe we'll, we'll go to the airport together or something. But if you enjoyed this kind of, yeah, just something a little different. It's not goalie related, obviously, but it's a little behind the scenes day in the life. Look, uh, give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Uh, if you're going on a big trip, let me know. I'll help you with, with packing. I love, I love packing for a trip. Um, but I think that's all I have to say. Maybe I'll do another video showing you how I pack my electronics and my other little personal use bag. But I will catch you on the flip side. See y'all.